Good evening everyone and it's time for the bedtime story tonight. I missed you over the weekend and over the holiday Monday and in service day Tuesday so it's nice to see people again. Hmm. Now I wonder, can you work out what kind of creature I'm meant to be dressed up as tonight? Hmm. Because this story features a bear and a a bee a bear and a bee and it's a really good one because it has got surprise surprise it's got a really good message in there it's got a really good message in there about being different but about treating people well and I think there's a message in there for everyone so this one is called The Bear and the Bee and it's by Ella Richardson and Lid the pictures are by Lydia Monks and here it is here, The Bear and the Bee. So I've got my bear and my bee sitting here together looking very happily together on my knee while we read the story. Now let's see where it begins. Hope you're sitting comfortably. Our story begins with your imagination. Now imagine a world full of black and yellow creatures that fly above your heads. Bees, yes, but not normal bees. These bees can talk. And not only can they go to they talk, but they also go to school. Something we we're not at the moment, but we will get back. Now, this world may be unique in itself, but the creatures living in it are not quite so unique. Actually, they are all exactly the same as each other. And all of these buzzing bees have the same name too. They are all called Busy. Every single one of them. Imagine being in a school where, when the teacher takes a register, you all have the same name. How would you know it was your name being called out? How confusing would that be? Well, that's what happens with these bees every single day. They're all called busy. One ordinary Monday, the younger bees were gathered in the playground. Some were buzzing with the latest gossip, while others played hide and buzz. And all of a sudden, a big brown hairy creature strolled into the playground. <gasps> it was a bear. The bees bow buzzed loudly and flew here, there and everywhere in a panic. Hey guys, the bear spoke softly. My name is Gruzzle. Don't be afraid. It's my first day here. There's all the bees. There's Crystal. The bee stared in shock at the bear. This isn't the right school for you, the bees buzzed crossly. You're different. You don't have stripes, like us, and I bet you can't fly. A second bee agreed. And he's not even called Busy said a third bee. We don't like people who are different. Go away. Gruzzle's face fell. Does it matter if I'm different? He asked. Well, the answer was obviously yes, because the bees flew away into their classrooms, ignoring the question. Giant tears fell from Grizzle's giant eyes and splashed onto the playground. But one bee had stayed behind. The smallest bee in the whole school. Comforting Grizzle, the bee spoke. There, there. I think it's a good idea being different. It's boring when everyone's the same. Grizzle smiled as the kind little bee gave him an idea. 
The rest of the day zoomed past. Some of the bees made nasty remarks as Gruzzle walked by and giggled behind his back. But Gruzzle didn't care. He had a plan, and a good one too. All he needed was imagination, which he sure had already. The next day, the bees gathered in the playground as normal, and then Gruzzle strolled in. He looked very different from the day before. He had yellow and black stripes painted on him, and he had wings tied to his back. The crowd went quiet and glanced at one another. Then one young bee piped up. You look so stupid, he said. Bears don't have wings shouted another bee, and your stripes look silly. Everyone laughed. But they soon stopped as Grizzle started chuckling too. Ha, you laughed at me because I'm different, he said, but when I look the same as you, you still laugh at me. I am different, and I'm happy being a bear, and there's nothing wrong with being different. The bees paused for a moment and thought about what Grizzle had just said. And the smallest bee started cheering and shouting, Hurrah for Grizzle! I'd like to be different, said a big bee. I'm going to go purple. And I'm going to change my name to Buzzle, said another bee. The next morning, the playground was more cheerful than it had ever been. All the bees were brightly coloured and they were buzzing about trying to learn the new names they'd given themselves. Gruzzle looked around and he smiled. He thought to himself, it's okay to be unique. And it's okay to be you. Because we're not all the same. And look, it now says on school... Bear and Bee School. So that was a good story about people working out that we are all unique and we still should be kind to one another because every single one of us have got things that are the same and things that are different. But we need to be kind because each one of us is unique. And everyone is special. Miss you very much, everybody. And we'll see you soon. Have good dreams and sleep well.